Good morning, mates, diabetes world. Well, yesterday was my kind of checkup, and that's what I guess I'll do. I'll do a checkup with you, and that's pretty well it's all going to be today. Might be a short one, but oh well. I hope you had a great day, and we'll be right back. Good morning again. Well, went to diabetic, the diabetic healthcare center. Used to be called iConnect, but they kind of changed their name, which is great. So, went out, went there, got there. Got there on time, plus for me, and this time, they were ready right on the nose. So that, I don't want to say a pleasant surprise, because they are busy, and sometimes patients overrun their time, as I did, and, excuse me, hair. But, uh, yeah, we had a fairly good visit. <sighs> I dropped. It's usually what I do when I go there. And... I have an appointment in February. This is after I got my new doctor, and we can find out what he wants to do. Could be Fridays is my will be my appointment dates, which is great. It'll give me the weekends to kind of get organized. And I'm gonna miss Clarissa, but okay, that's not what we're here to discuss. But I went off on a tangent. I'm sorry. I dropped. I crashed, and I crashed hard yesterday. I just do it to get the free Coke. So they got me a can of Coke. And I drank it. Sorry. Probably get you dizzy there. I drank the Coke and I tested it. And I think I left there at a 5.8. I started at 5.8 and I left at 5.8. Coming down, I wheeled back. And coming down, I crashed again. And I was 2.9. And or sorry, I was 2.7 and 2.9. But before I got there, lo and behold, outside shoppers, I saw my current doctor. And not to say it was definitely a surprise, but I see her next week. But she treated me there. She ordered a glucagon, and the pharmacist gave it to me, and I shot up. And then she kind of texted me a couple of times and made sure everything was hunky dory. Well, last night. You know, I was kind of low, and Mom was all upset when I got home, and I got upset, and I think it was just the mood swings. And it was, I was low blood sugar. I laid down to nap, and I fell out of bed. And when I fell out of bed, I didn't hurt anything. Sorry, I'm just watching Nico there for a moment. 
I kind of took me a while to realize what I had done and I had to work in climbing back in the bed. I went out and I was kind of really spinning and I was kind of like, well, don't eat that because everyone, everyone, my mom right now you know, is so worried that I'm so fat and I'm worried I'm so fat, but just like the rest of us, we don't need to hear it every five seconds. Part of it is because I can't get up and walk as much, and everyone, if you, well, if you just get up and do it, it'll happen. Yeah, and I'll fall fat on my face, too. But... So... Every time I have to eat it, you're eating again. And, uh, and if I don't eat, I'll just go low. So, I don't know what we're really to do. I'm just looking to see. I think they're over here on this side. Things are so I don't know. We'll, sorry, I was distracted. But I don't know what to do. My body, she doesn't seem to clue in. And it's part of her issues right now. And, you know, a lot of times I get upset. And. I'm going to have to just do my lunch pail again. At the 28th, I think we get paid. I'm going to have to go and fill up my lunch pail. And keep pop or something in my room because it's kind of like I'm a teenager again. That's really what it's like. And I could take glucagon, but you know, you do have to restock glucagon. And I won't lie to you, sometimes I have a couple of times I crash a number of times throughout the day. And she for, seems to forget that and it's kind of like, well, if you just take less insulin, well, that's not what the problem is. You know, I'm high and then I'm low and I'm high again. But she's just worried about me being fat. And then, like I said at the beginning, of this, I'm worried about me being fat. But what is, you know, mothers will be mothers, I guess. And I'm sure she'd be the exact same way, even if she didn't have a condition. But my dad's, my dad's the same way. And you, they forget to notice that I know I'm big. But why aren't you doing something about it? Well, because I have to eat simple sugar in order to bring my blood sugar up. I have to eat after I use glucagon. So, what, what am I to do? Just sit there and keep going into comas? No. And I don't know, sometimes, sometimes it can be very frustrating. 
And last night, I had to take some Tylenol. And I had to dip into my, I call it private stock. But it's Tylenol with codeine to fall asleep. I had a headache. And I was trying to be pleasant with mom. I was thirsty. So, you know, I could just be overly sensitive from yesterday. You know how everyone has a different view of what really happened. And if we were all the same, I guess it would be boring. Well, I guess I'm going to have to call my dad and he's going to say, oh, well, why don't we go and get together for lunch? Oh, you see? I don't want to just be give and take. And lately, it's just been so much work with Mom. I'll have to give him a call later and tell him what's been going on. I, can't, I wrote Alicia, well, my stepmom, and told her that, you know, a lot of my time is being spent with Mom and helping her find her way. And I think we're going to have to start. I think today I'm going to have to get some, get a table going and just get them photocopied. And write, write things out what's going on. And that she'll have a book for memories. Oh, to help me with my diabetes and just keeping things under control. And... You know, get her, once she's checked the receipts, get her to check it off and we can throw it out so that it's not in her purse all day. But sometimes she keeps pulling out receipts from six months ago. And it's gonna be a bit of a pain for her. I don't want her to have to keep recalling every five minutes. Morning. But because I've got to help her. And I guess the way it's been happening has put a little bit of pressure on me. Okay, you may be asking, what does, Mike, what does all this have to do with diabetes? Well, they do say that stress, uh, the fight or flight reflexes, and it, You know, it, you chase off and and the stress goes under and that's kind of like and how you react to it. And, you know, that way we can see, yes, we discuss things before. And that's what I tried to do. But, you know, we, we kind of talk and then things... But mom will say, oh, yeah, you're just writing it down, so. I want her to. Or I want to help her get under, get her memory back under control. And in turn, might help me. 
Well, it's putting a little bit of stress on me. And who will know? I'm just getting my keys out so we can go in. There we go. Mom has always treasured her memory. And I've always been like a teacher. So, we'll do that. And we'll do it. Oh, that's just as long as I'm able to help. And I think... We have to find bridge clubs. And you know, the same thing with you. You know, sometimes it's great to be around people, but you need to get around and be with diabetics. Mm -hmm. There's diabetic social groups all over the place. I have a few good friends that are diabetics. And, oops, there's a shadow up there. You know, we meet up quite regularly. And it's good. It's good for all of us. Now, it doesn't mean there's something wrong, but just find out secrets, find out um, how to get around and how to take care of yourself better. Anyway, that's it for Mother's Watchful Eye and what happened yesterday with my diabetes. Have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Bye.